Hello everybody, it's Mike 217 and we're doing the final Funko Pop review that I can do. Um, I'm saying this is the final one because I literally have no other Funko Pops in my collection as of the time of this recording. But yeah, we're ending it off with Chewbacca, you know? So yeah, this is based off the Star Wars A Solo Story version of Chewbacca. Um, it's number 239. Side of the box, other side of the box... Right there. Back of the box. Top of the box. Has a nice little peek in Chewbacca there. And then, bottom of the box. Alright, let's open this up like uh, we have done in all the other reviews. <sighs> Easy peasy. Oh, before I open it up, um, at the back here we have advertisements for 238 Han Solo, 239 Chewbacca. This is the one that we're looking at. 240 Lando Calrissian, 241 Kira, 242 Tobias Beckett, 243 Val, 244 Rio Durant, 245 L337, 246 Range Trooper, 247 Infant's Nest, and 248 The Mud Trooper. Alright, that's it for that. And this is also a Disney property, but yeah. Pop this bad boy out of here. Alright, so... Tell there's some backdrop right there. Again, not sure what this is. And unlike the first order stormtrooper, this is not as easily identifiable for what that's supposed to represent for a backdrop. But whatever. Here we have the figurine, and wow, mine just pops open like that. But there are these little tabs on the plastic to make things so that it fits in place. That's the figurine itself. Pretty nice sculpting, kind of gives you, like, when I press on the goggles, it actually feels like a different kind of rubbery plastic. That's actually nice detailing. I love the details on the blaster, and of course this is a bobble head. Bobble, 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 bobble. Okay, sorry. Um, pretty interesting detailing all around. No major complaints. I mean, like, it's pretty well. I think it's decently movie accurate. Again, I'm not a huge... T Funko Pop fan. Just got these because these are like a great deal. Uh, there's the bottom of the base. I don't think you can detach him. He seems pretty glued on there. Yeah, he's even agreeing with me. Um, yeah, nothing else much I can say about this other than this looks pretty movie accurate in my opinion. Uh, I think it's a great figurine. If you can get your hands on it, I definitely would recommend this figurine. Um, Kind of wish that there's a way where you can flip up the goggles, because, like, kind of see, the goggles can somewhat move. I don't know, it would have been nice if maybe there's a function where you can move the goggles up or something like that, like the Lego, make it look like the Lego version, but that's just me. Anyway, that's it for this review. Hope you guys enjoyed these Funko Pop reviews. If so, consider leaving a like, and if you're new to this channel, I do do a lot of Lego-related stuff. So if you're into Lego-related stuff, consider subscribing and you know, hit the notification bell where you're notified whenever I upload new videos, or if I do the occasional LEGO live stream. Um, there is an upcoming live stream coming in August 1st. Not gonna say what, though. But, yeah, I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in a future video. Till then, see ya.